Chào chị Tilly, everybody. So today, uh, I'm going to do the last part of uh, semiconductor device. All right. So, uh, so last time what we have done is uh, we talk about formation of PN junction diode or PN junction, right? So when we when we talk about the formation of PN junctions, we talk about three very important things, all right? Just to give you a, a brief recapitulations. So first we talk about diffusions. And then we talk about the formation of a space charge regions, that is depletion regions, and then because of which there is an electric field exists uh, within uh, depletion regions, and that uh, allow a drift, that is drift current. All right, electrons drift and hold drift. So these are the three very important phenomena taking place while uh, uh, during a formation of. PN junction, right? So this is what we have talked about. This is in PN junction diode, and this is in PN junctions. Uh, this is in PN junction, and this is depletion regions. And during the diffusions, hole goes from P to N, and leaving behind negative ions. All right, and and uh, electron diffuse from N to N, N to P, and leaving behind a positive ion. So this. Immobile positive ions at N side and negative ions at the P side is what we call as uh, depletion regions or the space charge regions. All right. So the last time I said that the term depletion means lack. Right. So region the region has a very less number of mobile charge carrier. Right. And because of which electron, which is a minority in a P type semiconductor, goes from P to N, the hole which is minority in a uh, uh, N regions uh, goes from uh, N to P, and this is how formation of depletion region takes place. And I say this depletion region creates what we call as a potential barrier, right? What we call as a potential barrier. So this is these potential barriers uh, uh, stop. Electron to move from diffuse from N to P and hole to move from P to N. So therefore, at equilibrium states, there is no movement of a charge taking place uh, through this depletion region. So this is the electric field created by space charge regions. All right. So this is what we uh, what we have done last class. All right. Formation of pn junctions, and this is what. So therefore, uh, this creates a potential, right? One is uh, less negative potential, other one is positive potential. So therefore, this is what we have. This is a positive potential, and that is negative potentials. All right, now, uh, now we would like to talk about the, the semiconductor diode, pn junction diode. In another term, we call pn junction diode. So pn junction diode. Is uh, two semi uh, two extant uh, extant semiconductor that is P type semiconductor and N type semiconductors and and the formation of depletion region take place and we have a uh, two terminals when we talk about P N junction diode this P N junction diode diode means two terminal di means two right I I means end it has a two end and one end is connected to a P type semiconductors another end is connected to N type semiconductor. And there is a depletion regions that is that this this is what we have. This, this is at equilibrium states, and the semiconductor diode is represented by this symbol, right? So this is n type semiconductors, and this is a p type semiconductors, and this is the p n junction, right? So this is a p n junction, a p n junction diode, and this is what we call as semiconductor diode. All right, and then now, now what, what we are going to do is uh, I can apply a voltage across uh, two terminal of PN junction diodes, and depending on what kind of voltage you are going to apply, uh, we we divide uh, this under two uh, two uh, two type. That is, one is called a forward bias, another one is called uh, reverse bias. Uh, term bias means uh, in, uh, impartial, right? That means I am going, I am going to put 
or one potential, higher potential at one side and lower potential at the other side. That means I am I'm going to differentiate, right? The term bias means differentiate, right? How I'm going to differentiate? How, how I'm going to bias means by applying potential difference, right? Uh, if I apply same potential to two ends, then uh, this is unbiased, right? So the, the here term biasing means uh, I am going to differentiate two terminals based on applying, based on applying potential. So this is what we have. So so we have a two types of uh, biasings, and a one by one type is what we call as a forward bias. So therefore, this is what we have: p-n junction diode under forward bias. When we talk about the forward bias, what do you mean by forward bias, right? So forward bias is a type of biasing, right? PN junction diode, where the positive potentials, all right, the positive potential or positive terminal of cell is connected to a P types and negative terminal of a cell is connected to N type, N terminal, right? So we have a two terminal, P terminal, N terminal, P terminal is a positive terminal of cell is connected to N terminal of a P type and negative, term, uh, negative terminal of cell is connected to the N terminal of a uh, diode. So this is what we call as a uh, uh, forward bias. So what things are going, uh, what things happen in a uh, forward bias, right? So when we, talk, when we apply a forward bias, what happens is that uh, when we apply a forward bias, this is the positive terminal and this is the negative uh, ion, that is it has a negative potential, right? So this is what I can write here. Uh, this is negative um, potential and this is positive potentials. And if I apply a positive potential to uh, this side, this, this negative potential will decrease. And, and when I apply a negative terminal to uh, this side, this ne uh, positive terminal will decrease. That means the, the, the that means the potential barrier is going to reduce. Potential barrier is going to reduce. <coughs> last class we we say that last class we say that last class we say that this potential barrier right this barrier is uh, of this barrier is of uh, zero point three to zero point seven uh, volt. Uh, 0.3 is for germanium, 0.7 is for, uh, for, for what we call uh, reverse uh, um, for, silic, uh, for silicon, right? 0.3 is for germanium, 0.7 is for uh, silicon, right? So what happens is that this is, this is the potential barrier, right? So what happens if I apply a forward bias? If I for, apply a forward bias, this potential is going to reduce. Negative potential decreases and positive potential, that means that the depletion region is going to decrease. Once the depletion region is decreased, once the depletion region decreases, what happens is that electron, right? Electron from electron which is majority in an n type semiconductors get injected, get injected into p type semiconductors. And the hole which is majority in a p type semiconductor get injected into uh, n type uh, semiconductors. So due to which, due to which the number of electrons increases at p side, number of a hole increases at the n side, right? Because of which the whole electron concentration is greater at this side. So therefore, because of diffusion, electron goes like this, all right? And Hole concentration is more at this side compared to other side, so therefore hole get diffused to this side. Due to which, all right, there will be a current. There will be a current. There will be a current, right? So because of which there exists a current. All right. So this is what we have, right? This is what we have. So. This is a simple circuit diagram, right? So what happens is that when I apply a forward bias, the, the thickness of a depletion region is going to become very less, right? Uh, thickness is going to reduce, right? Thickness of a depletion region is going to reduce because of which there will be a current. Because of which there will be a current. 
there will be a current in a uh, car in a pn junction uh, in, a, in a circuit so this is what we have this is what we have mm. now this is what I, I i would like to show you here right so what happened is that now this is uh, uh, point number one is without applying battery that is this potential high this potential high barrier high is without applying without applying uh, potential that that could be uh, say a 0.7 for a silicon right then i apply a low potential low voltage battery is applied so barrier height is reduced barrier height get reduced barrier height get reduced and then i apply a higher voltage barrier height further reduced so this is what we have right this is how barrier height reduces as i apply more and more voltage as I apply more and more voltage. So this is what we have. So this is what exactly is going to happen, right? This is without applying, without applying, uh, without biasing, right? So that means uh, there are so many number of electrons, uh, n times in the vector, n side, so many holes exist uh, in a P type semiconductors, right? So after applying a uh, after biasing, what happens is that this is going to reduce. I'm sorry, this is going to reduce. This is going to reduce. And due to which, <coughs> this is a hole that goes into this. And this is the electron that goes into this, right? So therefore, there will be a current. There will be a current, right? So therefore, there will be a current. Depletion region reduced. So that you see, depletion region gets reduced. This is what exactly uh, we have in case of uh, cold fires. So this is n type semiconductor. You find so many electron. Electron is a majority charge carrier. And this is a p type semiconductor, which is uh, where the hole is a majority charge carrier. And what happen, once I apply a bias, once the, once I apply a potential difference, what happens is the electrons potential potential difference is going to reduce. Once a, a potential barrier is going to reduce, and due to which electron get uh, get uh, get passed through this potential barrier, and more and more electron get uh, get accumulated this side, and more and more hole get accumulated this side. Due to which there will be there will be a current, right? There will be current, right? So this is what we have. Again, this is what I have, right? So this is without applying. Uh, this is potential height with, without applying potentials, right? So once I apply a potential, uh, potential height, uh, the potential barrier high barrier is reduced, right? Due to which there will be a diffusion current. So when whenever we talk about uh, forward bias, it's all because of diffusion, right? Why? Because that that day I, just now I told you that just now I told you that. More number of electron accumulate this side, and then con concentration gradients, concentration difference is there. So the electron goes this side. More number of hole accumulate this side because of which there is a concentration gradients. So hole goes this side due to which there will be. So now uh, we would like to study a very important uh, concept that is the uh, VI characteristic of a PM junction type. VI characteristic of it. So this is simple circuit. This is some, uh, a circuit is very simple. I have uh, PN junctions diode. This is PN junction diode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a forward bias. What is forward bias? P terminal is connected to uh, positive terminals. N terminal is connected to N side, right? And then what I'm going to do is this, uh, here I'm going to put a milliampere. So in, in case of forward bias. Since it is the majority charge carrier that goes from uh, uh, N to P, as since it is the majority charge carrier that is hole that goes from P to N, so the current is always in terms of milliampere. Current is in terms of milliampere, right? And then I'm 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 going to apply a voltage, or I'm going to apply a voltage, and this is what we have. So this is forward bias. So what happens is that. Uh, I'll be having a voltage and I'll be having a current, right? This is the this is a simple uh, table, right? So uh, up to certain voltage, there will be a no increase in a uh, current with the increase in a voltage. Up to certain 
up to certain uh, voltage. Up to certain voltage. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, the voltage that you are going to apply has to exceed what we call as a threshold voltage. Threshold voltage. That threshold voltage is 0 0.74, 0 0.74 silicons. So therefore, what happens is that I apply voltage, let's say 0 0.2 current is almost zero, 0 0.3 current is almost zero, 0 0.4 there is little increase in the current and 0 0.5 there is little increase in the current, 0 0.6 there is some much some increase in the current and as soon as you get to 0 0.7 then you see uh, so much increase in the current right now if I apply 0 0.8 0 0.8 alright and current increase so much now it is almost like 0 0.8 0 0.8 so this this tells that once uh, once the external voltage exceeds threshold voltage once the external voltage exceeds a uh, threshold voltage threshold voltage once external voltage exceeds the threshold voltage uh, uh, there, there will be so much increase in the current with the little increase in the voltage with the little increase in the voltage so uh, voltage doesn't increase much but so much current will be increased so this is what we call this is what we call as vi characteristic curve so this is what we have right normally in case of ohms when we say that as the current as the voltage increases current, current will increase equally right so in this case it is not so right so this this tells that the ohms law doesn't doesn't uh, is not varied in case of uh, VI characteristic curve, right? So here, up to seven voltage, up to 0.7 volt, there is uh, there is hardly, right? There is a little increase in the voltage. Uh, there is little increase in the current with the with the increase in the voltage. But once you exceed a 0.7 voltage, that is a threshold voltage, so much increase in the current with the with 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 a little increase in the voltage. So this is what we call as one of VI characteristic of forward bias. VI characteristic of. So this is, I'm going to apply here variable voltage and you just go on increasing voltage, go on increasing voltage until, uh, until 7 volt. Once you reach a point 0.7 volts, uh, even if you try to increase the voltage, uh, you, you don't see any increase in the voltage, but you see so much increase in the current. So this is what we call as uh, forward bias. Now let's talk about reverse bias. Let's talk about reverse bias. I told you we have a two way of applying voltage in case of a PN junction diode. I told you we have a two way of applying um, way of applying voltage to a PN junction diode. So in case of PN junction diode, that is PN junction diode under reverse bias. So it is said to be a reverse bias. It is said to be reverse bias. It is said to be reverse bias if a P-type semiconductor is connected to a uh, negative terminal of cells and N-type terminal of a semiconductor is connected to a diode is connected to a positive terminal of cell, right? So this is this is what we have. First, negative terminal of cell, negative terminal of cell is connected to the P-terminal of a, a PN junction diodes and a positive terminal of cell is connected to or battery is connected to the negative uh, N terminal of PN junction, right? So this is what we have reverse bias. Now look at here. This is already negative. This is already negative. And this is already positive. Now if I if I if I put further positives, negative, a negative will increase. If I put a further positive, positive will increase. So that means uh, once I do a reverse bias, uh, potential barrier is going to increase. Uh, if I increase the potential barrier, and then the thickness of uh, uh, the depletion region is going to increase. Thickness of a depletion region is going to increase, and the potential barrier is going to increase. All right. So this is this is without applying applying voltage. Without applying voltage. This is without uh, voltage. This is without voltage. And if I apply voltage, then potential barrier will increase. Potential barrier will increase. So this is what we have. And this is a diagram I have. You look at look at here. The depletion region is going to increase. All right, depletion region is going to increase, and because of which, 
uh, because of which you know there is there is no increase in the voltage, right? Because of which uh, uh, the electric field uh, between the uh, within the pin junction is going to increase. All right. So you see more negative charge here and more positive charge here. The thickness is going to increase. And what is going to happen if I increase the thickness of depletion regimes? Uh, what is going to happen if, uh, if the if the potential barrier is going to increase? So if once the thickness is increases, potential barrier is also going to increase, right? And the, when, once the potential barrier is going to increase, now what I'm going to do is what I mean is that as I and, uh, and as I go on increasing our voltage applied to our uh, uh, reverse voltage applied to our pin junction diode and thickness is going to increase and the potential barrier is going to increase potential barrier goes on increases and that means electric field uh, goes on increase right electric field within the depletion region is going to increase right uh, what happens is that after some time after some time what happens is that the electric field within this depletion region is so high so high that that it creates electron hole pair right so the valence electron get break down within these two regions right the valence band but the valence electrons all right valence electron which is which is which is not uh, a, a free charge carrier right so now valence band the valence electron in a valence band get break down so therefore this is what we call as a breakdown voltage this is what we call as a breakdown voltage so i go on increasing the voltage without increasing the current at all and i go on increasing the voltage the the depletion region is going to increase and the potential across the depletion region is going to increase electric field within the depletion region is going to increase after some time what happens is that the valence electron within the depletion region get break down and this is what we call as a breakdown voltage this is what we call as a breakdown voltage VB that VB stands for breakdown voltage once the valence electron get break down what happens is that electron electron goes this side all right electron goes this side and a hole goes this side hole goes this side electron goes this side because of electric field and due to which there there will be a current there will be a current so this is what we call as a reverse current right since since uh, it is the minority charge carrier right uh, when i apply a reverse bias when i apply a reverse bias uh, what happen is that the minority charge carrier hole that goes from n to p and the minority charge carrier electron that goes from p to n because of which the the current that we discuss here is uh, of a micro amperes so in case of uh, in case of uh, reverse bias, the current which we are going to talk, uh, the range of current is going to be the range of current is going to be microampere. Why? Why it is a microampere? During a reverse bias, what happens is that the hole which is a minority, hole which is minority, uh, goes from n to p, and an electron which is minority in a p type goes from p to n. Right. So due to which, due to which. Uh, the range of current is going to uh, going to be microamperes. And what happens if I say if you go on increasing the voltage up to a breakdown voltage, then valence electron within the uh, depletion region can break down. Then so much increase in the whole transfer uh, to a p-type increases, and so much transfer of uh, electron goes to n-type is going to increase. Right, so this is what we have in case of reverse bias. So this is reverse bias characteristics, right? So this is done again. What we are going to do is we have the P type semiconductors, where we have a voltage, we have a currents, voltage, V current is in a microamperes. In case of forward, it is what happened is that what happened is that. This is a reverse bias. A positive terminal is connected to N type, negative terminal is connected to N uh, P type, and the range of current we are going to discuss is micro amperes. So what I mean is that up to certain, you know, this is of up to certain voltage, 
there is there is no increase in the voltage at all. There is no increase in the, I'm, I'm sorry. There is no increase in the current at all. And once it reaches like the 80 volt, that is this breakdown voltage, right? And then electron in a valence band can break down, and then you see so much increase in the currents. And this increase in the current is entirely due to the breaking of the volt, uh, breaking of uh, electron electron in a valence bands and that creates electron hole right so therefore there will be a there you will see a movement of electron hole through a dip, uh, through a, a, a depletion regions and that is that is all due to breaking off a valence electron so the term itself break down voltage what is going to break valence electron is going to, at that particular voltage valence electron is going to valence electron is going to break down so this is this is the summary, right? Without applying, all right. And I just there will be this is a P type, this N type, and just two crystal attacks, and I just join it. We 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 got a we got a PN junction diode, and then I apply a forward bias. Depletion region is going to decrease, and there will be a current. Current is in the micro ampere, and if I apply a reverse bias, depletion region is going to increase. And the current is going to become very less, and this is a micro ampere. All right, and then you see, you see, uh, this is uh, this is uh, 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 depletion regions. All right, and then uh, and then look at here, the depletion region is going to increase. Depletion region is going to decrease, and this is this is the hole that goes right uh, to a uh, to a B type semiconductor from. N type semiconductor electron that goes from uh, from P type semiconductor to N type semiconductors that is the minority charge carrier, right? It is the minority charge carrier that uh, that that uh, that that goes from it, uh, here. It is a minority charge carrier, and here it is a majority charge carrier. Hole that is the majority in a P type goes to uh, N type electron that is majority in N type goes. To, so therefore, the range of current is a microampere. A milliampere, therefore the range of current is microampere. So this is the small summary. All right. Okay. So with this, uh, now what I what I would like to do here is having this. Uh, I I say that if I apply a small voltage, like say five volt, ten volt, what I mean is that when I if I have a forward bias, so forward bias, forward bias. And when I have a forward bias, a forward bias conduct. All right. So, oh, uh, there will be a current. Uh, it is a close, right? And there will be a current, right? There will be a current. There will be a current in a circuit. When I talk about forward bias. When we talk about forward bias, there will be a current. There will be a current, so circuit is closed. I can say circuit is closed circuit. Now, when we talk about reverse bias, uh, unless I apply a, a breakdown voltage, un, uh, unless I increase up to a breakdown voltage, reverse bias does not conduct. And there will be no current, or oh, it is open. Circuit is open, right? Circuit is open, right? No current. So, having this concept, having this, having this concept, uh, I would like to, I would like to do a dis, uh, discussion on what we call as rectifiers. What we call as rectifiers. When we talk about alternating currents, current is always in this form, right? This is this is what we call as alternating voltage. Alright? In a cycle, half a cycle is a positive voltage, half a cycle is negative voltage, right? Half a cycle is positive voltage, half a cycle is negative voltage. When I if I have alternating current, right? So 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 now what I'm going to do is uh, this is the difference between alternating voltage and a direct voltage right dc voltage right ac voltage 
the difference between AC voltage and a DC voltage. Uh, AC voltage is that voltage get fluctuate. It is a sinusoidal. Voltage is sinusoidal, right? When we talk about DC voltage, voltage is fixed. Let's say I have a two volt. That if this is a two volt, this is two volt, and this is two volt. If I say this is two volt, means this two volt is fluctuating, right? So now, now how to change AC volt into a DC volt? All right. So this is all done by what we call as rectifiers. All right. So now, now first I would like to do a, what we call as a fast half wave rectifiers. Half wave rectifier. So. This is a simple circuit for half wave rectifier. I have this is a transformer, right? This is what we call as a transformer, right? So the transformer we, we talked about last time. The, the, the definition of transformer, the purpose of transformer is to, to step down or step up voltage. Here in this case, we are going to step down voltage. If I fit a 220 volt and I'm going to step down to a let's say 9 volt, let's say 9 volt. Right? So the, the job of transformer is to step down, roll is, what is the roll? Roll is to step down voltage, alternating voltage, AC voltage, let's say 220 volt to 9 volt, 220 volt to 9 volt. So now this is, this is the output voltage. Now what happens is that, look at here. Now, let's say I have a 9 volt. This is 9 volt. Let's say this is 9 volt. Let's say this is 9 volt. This is 9 volt. Now, I have, what I mean, this is the this is input, right? This is input and, and you get output, right? So, and 9 volt, when I, when I talk about, in a, in a cycle, I talk about what half cycle is a positive, half cycle is negative, right? So, uh, so first cycle, look at here, the first half cycle, this is 9 volt, a 9 volt, 9 volt is connected to a positive terminal of, is connected to, this is a, this is a forward bias for, I say this is a forward bias, forward bias for, Mm, positive half and this is reverse bias for negative half all right so uh, i'll be having a in case of a half wave rectifier we have only one diode right so uh, in a cycles we have a two or one a half cycle is a positive half cycle is negative so a positive cycle for a half positive cycle a diode act as a forward bias so there will be a there will be a voltage there will be a voltage and for for next half uh, next negative half cycles uh, this act like a reverse bias then voltage is going to become zero voltage this is what we call as zero voltage right so this is the input input AC voltage and I, I told you uh, this is output uh, this is a forward bias this is a forward bias this is a reverse bias this is a forward bias this is reverse bias so forward bias there will be a voltage reverse bias there won't be any voltage Four bias, there will be a voltage, reverse bias, there won't be any voltage. So this is what this is the output. So therefore, what happens is that I have I have a voltage like this, let's say I will have like this. And output, what I am going to get is I have voltage like this, there won't be any voltage, voltage like this. So this is what we have, right? So this is yes, it is one direction. Because in this process, the negative half, the negative cycles has been removed. In this, in this, uh, in, in this case, all right. In this process, what happens is that negative half has been removed. So what is left? What what is at the output? Uh, at output, we find only positive. We find only positive. So therefore, this is what we call as a half wave rectifier. This is what we call as half wave rectifier. 
and then next uh, next video session i'm going to do full wave rectifier thank you